Hello everybody, my name is Trollmaker, playing Warrior Red Dragon Campaign, Pearl of the Orient. And now we're going to do... Turn 2? The computer's turn 2, perhaps. Yes. But first, Anzac, Mechanizing, or... Oh, this is just explaining how things work. But we're already too good for that. Alright, so we're going to see some amphibious operations. So here's a scary fact. There's like uh, an amphibious landing over here. Kind of scary. Uh, so we've got ourselves the new territories, which we crushed last time, giving them only one zone to deploy from still. Dear lord. We didn't really crush it though, it was a major victory, but we did do a, a decent amount of damage. Uh, they crushed through two of my zones, which is no big deal, because um, those two zones sucked. And uh, yeah, it's not really a big deal. Uh, I still got one six-point base and one two-point base, so I might... Um, I might ignore Lantau Islands because it's not a real point by any means. And I might just focus my attention on these two points because they are real points. So we're going to do that, put these guys here. And I think I'm going to put some uh, Fusiliers over here. Do I, I not have any over here? Dupes. Okay, I'll use, I'll use the Territorials because I get a lot of those guys. Lots of them. And we'll get out our abbots. Early abbots are good. Which I might put him more roadworthy. Just so he can hit across. And speaking of hitting across. Oh, that's right. I don't have that on this flank. I can't use any super long range. So what else do we have? Uh, track rapier for anti-air. We'll put one over here as well. And I don't have a supply right off the bat in the both areas in fact just because we're so gonna be using those a lot and put two here and I can't afford anything else is that correct I think that is pretty well correct let's get a few more territorials for the uh, infantry battle okay so this looks good this looks juicy um, this one's not in a great position and I'm just going to assume there's something here. No good reason to assume that, but I will. Oh dear lord. They're firing already on something. In fact, they're going through a very, very different flank from what they normally do. That alone is kind of scary. They're actually going up this northern area, so... I don't have any helos. That's rather unfortunate. It looks like they will, in fact, uh, go through that same bridgey area again, which is great. Yeah, they totally went a completely different path than the last time. That's gonna uh, hurt a lot. This flank was very, very good though for me. So that's fine. Let's get at a, one of these dudes, these phantoms, to take it this here. And whoa, he's actually getting some crazy shots off here. Let's get this guy firing on an actual target. Whoa, Chieftain? Are you actually targeting my Chieftain? That's madness. I do have a Vulcan, so I can kind of survive this a bit. Uh, whoa, we're getting some crazy attacks here. From crazy flanks. Oh god. Let's march out some cheapy tanks. It's just Samaraj, I think. Okay, we're gonna evac him. This is brutal. Okay. This is new and exciting and different. I wish I had helicopters right now. That would be... make this all so magical. Uh, let's get some fire here. Do a little bit of crash and burning. Oh god, he's actually just gonna run right into the north district. Well, it's not too big of a deal. The echo is actually the big deal. Uh, whoop. He's targeting these things. I don't want him to. Not until he engages my infantry. So far, he has ignored. Let's get another phantom out. I could use the support here. Whoa! Oh, uh, no, 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 I need you. I need to need you. Let's 
trying to do straight and runs on whatever I can based on. I got a 25 point kill there. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Territorials are doing good for their cost. Always gonna be for their cost. They are not gonna be a great unit. Uh, he hasn't actually deployed any actual roundy units, which is weird. Let's see if we can get out more tanks. Try and survive this. Uh, I actually have to pack up this point <coughs> and head out of here. Through an escape tunnel. Escape route. Oh, wow. Planes. Planes, 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 planes. Actual planes. Mm, I think they can fight back as well. Whoa, they and can with a bit of glory, apparently. Wiped out one of my planes. That's brutal. Let's see if I can get this territorial with this fight somehow, some way. Let me get this guy over here to the northern district, see if he can rally in some reinforcements of some sort. Uh, in the meantime, I have to do with what I have. I actually have a decent bit here. I can probably do a little bit of a tank push with everything I have. <clears throat> He's got this command here. He wants to lay it on my reinforcement point to neutralize it in any particular way he can. Um, and I can't let him get away with that, obviously. If he gets away with that, I'm in such serious trouble. These guys are out of eight, out of rockets. That's actually excellent. That is what you want to happen. You want to uh, use that of all that up. Whoa! Hey, Mark One is not doing so hot. Uh, can't jump this, unfortunately, but I can apparently move in the range. Peter's actually getting stomped, uh, you know, even though it doesn't look like it, he's very much getting stomped. And uh, Trek Raker is firing, 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 trying to get some good shots. Come on, baby, get the kill, get one to kill. Let's get some more tanks out. So I'm talking to tank numbers right now. God, I wish I could get that. Uh, I can capture this. Boom, I have that for next time. Uh, it's, it's kind of a loss though, uh, overall. I lost a lot of six point bases, but I did get a total victory, so that pushes him out of the point, which is great. Um, hmm. Yes, uh, it seems he's been pushed out of the point, and it's now my turn. Uh, so this is a big naval battle here. That's rather cool. Uh, there's Luda, Moskets, and Shantus at 30. That's very dirty. That's really hard to fight against. Um, is there anything else I can add into this? I have a naval unit, but it won't deploy in a naval zone. Um, yeah, I should use these. I should win the naval battle. I think that will be a decent tactic, but it won't actually let me deploy. There we go. So I should try and emphasize this naval battle. Now for land forces I have my Anzacs and I have my Princess Patricia? I don't remember this at all. Hmm. Okay, I have to deploy them from here. Because my dog is trying to claw apart nothing at all. Now the good news is I do have these two reinforces so I have uh, supplies which I can use over here, because that's where my artillery is. And then I have tanks, which I can use over here, because I don't really need them, truth be told. Uh, note, this guy's actually on the move, and that's kind of hard to deal with right now. Okay, we're going to have a naval battle relatively soon. So, uh, hold your breath, here it comes. Naval Sector Lima. Sometimes named Lima, but probably named after the country... Capital of Peru, Lima. I have all the naval sectors except for one. This shouldn't be too hard at all. Uh, and this one's an eight pointer, so that's cool. And he's actually retreating. Oh, wow. Good move, I guess. We're gonna go ahead and grab this one then. Because why not? Uh, okay, and I guess that will be another turn. Now keep in mind, 
there's still this threat. It's very scary. Look at this thing. He has muskets. He has everything. Ah, he might actually get this Lantau Island. But we'll have to find out next time.